Hello, it's Olimik. In today's video, we will be testing this automotive diagnostic tool from ThinkCar and I will show you all the features that comes with it. I had some requests from other companies, but the features come with this caught my eye, so I wanted to share with you and I'm sure you will like it as well. So let's take it out and see what we have. It comes with a nice package, you can carry it around and it will be protected because these diagnostic tools are not cheap, so you will need a case like this. I already tested out the scanner and I saw very good features with it, that's why I wanted to share with you. There's a protection film on it, so I didn't remove it. I removed the tape reversely, so it doesn't peel the sticker on it and it will be protected. Alright, here is the scanner itself, we can see it has a rubber on the side, in case if you drop it, it will be protected. Here is the OBD connector. One of the things I like about it, it's Bluetooth connected. So it means it doesn't have a wire from this plug to the device. And also when you're checking the car, you don't have to stay in the car. You can walk around the car with the scanner itself. So it gives you more freedom. And it's magnetic and it will stay like this. And the other feature I like about it, it has this latch. You can put it on the steering wheel or you can put it on your desk when you are working. And it's very sturdy. It stays like this. Here is a USB port and here is a USB Type-C for charging. Another thing I like about this device, which is the most important one, it's lifetime updated for free. So when you have a new update for this device, you can update it for free without any payment. Because with the other devices, you have to pay for the new updates every year. But with this one, it's lifetime updated for free. So you will pay one time for the device and you will use it as long as you can. Let's see what comes in the box. It comes with the adapter which older model of BMWs use this. You can use that if you have USB to USB type C. Here is the charger itself and the other plugs if you have a different socket. So you can swap it. You can push this and slide the other ones on. Just like this. Network cable manual and packing list so you can check it what we are missing i will do a test on a few different cars so let's start with the nissan kicks let's connect the obd under the dashboard all right let's turn it on turn on the ignition there is a very good and useful feature with this device that you can screen record especially for you guys watching me because when you watch it from the camera you can see all the lights from the screen but there is a good feature, if you swipe it down, you can screen record it and see exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna go over the tabs quickly so we can see what we have with this device. The first one is auto search, it automatically identifies the vehicle and the brand, model and all the information about the car. And the second one is diagnostic, it will quickly access the vehicle system diagnostic and manually you can select the brand. In this case, we already have the brand and the model. And the second one is OBD. Here you can see the codes, you can erase them, you can search the code, you can manually put the code and see what it means. Here we have the history. I already tested on some other cars and we have the history, but you can delete it. Here you have a report of what you did before. And here's the feedback. You can contact the Think Car team for any analytics and they will help you to solve your problem. Here we have the maintenance tab. For the maintenance tab, you have so many things to check manually. But yeah, I will try to go over them fast. Here we have the air fuel reset, ABS, add blue for diesel cars, adaptive front light system reset, air suspension, airbag reset, battery matching, brake pad reset, clutch matching, electric water pump, DPF recognition, ECU reset, EGR adaption, electrical throttle body adaption, FRM matching, gateway module data calibration, gear learning, gearbox learning, anti-thief key matching. This is a very handy option. Let's say you have two keys and you lost one. Here you have disabled the last one and if you buy another one you can add the one you just bought here injector coding language setting no sensor reset obd meter reset all reset rainfall light sensor setting seat calibration steering angle reset stop and start setting sunroof initialization tpmf reset transport mode turbocharging matching tire size adjustment windows calibration and here you have all the tools and you can adjust them wherever you want. You can bring them to the top, the one you are using a lot. 
let's go to the upgrade here is the vehicle diagnostic system you can go to your car brand and i already downloaded my latest version if these are not at the latest version you can download them and it will be updated so for now all these are on the latest version and here is the application software now this one on 1.12 the current version which been updated on 27th may which is the latest version let's go on more here is the setting here is the online service if you have any problem you can send them you can text them and also you can send them a video or a picture and they will answer you in 20 to 40 hours manual user obd fault call library coverage list modules here you can add other modules like endoscope camera you can plug it in if you have endoscope camera with the usb port here on gadget we can open a chrome you can open a youtube whatever you want let's open youtube and i already connected with the wi-fi so it, and you can swipe it to the right and it will go back and here's all the things that we saw you can arrange them here let's go to auto search and see what we have all right we're gonna do automatically search here it will tell you the vin number the country and the year this car being registered as 2019 but it's actually 2018 so it's very useful if you have this device when you're buying a car you can show them that it's 2018 and not 2019 now we're gonna do health report this will take some time but it will show you all the manual and all the error codes all right we have 11 system fault and 7 dtc let's go over them one by one anti-lock brake system these are the sensor which i cleaned previously and here you can see on the side it says pass so if we clean them it will go away because i already fixed that problem and body control comes after that because we have a problem with the sensor here it says pass we also had a problem with ventilation let's click over it and see what we have from here we can go to the google search so google search doing a good job so far and it's highlighting loose or poor ground connection for the engine control module so we're gonna clear it and see if it comes back because it's already in the past let's go back so all these in the past and the other ones are functioning properly so we're gonna clear it and see if it comes back again because i already cleaned the sensors all right all being cleaned let's rescan again all right from the 11 system it shows zero dtc so we are good to go we can also do a system scan so here it shows you all the modules that this car has and we can search them individually okay let's go back all right so far it was very useful uh, we could clear the pass codes so we're gonna turn on the engine and see if we have any check engine light all right we are good with this one so let's go ahead and do the test for other vehicles all right next car let's do the checking all right because i use that screen recording and it's still here so it's easier to hit record and it's easier for you guys to see what i'm doing let's do auto search for vin number it gives us choice lexus or toyota all right we have the vin number year model and all right here it's showing the VIN number year and the model which is correct now we're gonna go to 16 pins European or others here we have all the general information about this car engine type gasoline 2 ARFE 2017 and all that things and also this is important the mileage 39,000 in mile which I have I think in 60,000 which is correct this is a very good feature for checking mileage when you are buying a used car because sometimes they reset that and make it less than the actual number here we're gonna do a health report it will show us everything just like I did with the other car all right we have 13 codes let's start with the engine we have a malfunction here in the description it says it's about tire pressure warning valve and the reason tire damage and i did a tire change recently maybe it messed up the sensor but i don't have any problem over there so maybe because of that removing sensor and putting it back i will reset it and see if it comes back we have a problem with the ac and i think all that connected with bcm which is body control module so all the things that you are controlling like the windows and locking things it's about body control 
if one of the things had a problem all that comes like here we have a passenger door motor which whenever you are changing a battery this motor doesn't know where the window has to stop so it will take some time till it knows because all these in history and it's not like current if we have the problem it will show its current but if it's in the history like you had that problem but it's not active now now i will clear all the codes and if it has a problem it will come back and i don't think i have any problem with this car because i don't have any warning on the dashboard and yeah it cleared all that right away this is one of the features that i like and i will try it with this car in a different video i will buy another key and connect it with this car so we can turn it on and off and yeah i will make a different video with that and we have that feature here you can reprogram a new key or remove a key if you have lost it so yeah i will work on this in a different video and let me guys know do you want to see this one because because most of the times when they are importing used car from different countries they will lose one of the keys and for that this feature will be very important and i will show you in a different video how we can add another key for this or you can remove a key if you have lost it so you will be sure that the lost key doesn't have any access to your car before you are buying it let me know in a comment section below and I will do my best to make that video as soon as possible. I'm really happy with the scanner and what it can do. And I also cleaned a radar code, which it didn't come back again. It only needed a reset. And I did it with Think Car. But let me guys know what else you want me to do with this device. It has so many features and I can't cover it all in one video. But the most requested ones, I will do a video and I will make sure to put it as soon as possible. Think Cars website will be in the video description box below for more information. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.